got an extra long video for you today guys because this box has enough ingredients to make two meals. We have the spiced vegetable biryani and the moong dal with fried onions. Wakar is going to show us how to make both. Hello and welcome to Student Grub's veggie biryani special. Here we have diced onions already because cutting onions is a crying job and I do not look very attractive when I cry. In addition, we have cut down, we've already peeled down the sweet potatoes. We are going to proceed to cut the sweet potatoes into small cubes. Now remember, the smaller the cubes, the easier they are to cook. So, I'm going to dice them in <coughs> small cubes. I find it the easiest way to do it is slice them first. Okay, now we have diced all these. It is time to run them under some water. Make sure all your vegetables are always washed. Preferably use a colander for this job. Clean vegetables. Now we shall proceed to the actual cooking. Get a saucepan. Get some rapeseed oil. This is the biggest saucepan available to us. We understand you are students. We do have bigger saucepans, but I'd be surprised if any of the students have anyone bigger than these. Some rapeseed oil, roughly. We are talking about four tablespoons. See now, the base is covered. Now we put it over here. Now I would imagine everyone who's watching this will know the correct use of a hob. This is a hob. Make sure it is hot before you use it. Whilst our hob is heating up, we're going to dice a chili. Now, chili is entirely dependent on how spicy you'd like your biryani to be. Now, I like my biryani quite spicy, of course. There will be others who will think otherwise. So, put them according to your own preferences. And, uh, and if you'd like it milder, it is, it is important that the seeds be taken out. But if you keep the seeds in, mind you, it will be very spicy. Dice them as fine as, as possible. Now that the chili is diced, your, hopefully our hob will be hot. Now that the oil is hot, we will proceed to put in the diced onion, the red onions. It should sizzle like that. Along with the peppers. Of course, this is dependent on one's own preferences for spices. Give them a nice stir. Now that we can hear it sizzling nicely, we take the veggie biryani spices, we open the pot, we proceed to put the spices in. Ensure that the onions are thoroughly covered with the spices. Allow these to fry for five minutes. As they fry, they will approach a brownish color. Once that color is achieved, we shall proceed to put in the vegetables very carefully. Turn the heat down to medium. Now let us cover 
all the vegetables with all the onions to make sure that the spices are adequately placed inside our vegetables. Mixing this nicely, put in four tablespoons of water. Water, pour it in. Give it a nice stir. Lid on top, medium heat. Let it stand for 10 minutes. While that happens, let us start on the side dish. Now we shall proceed to cook moong dal. We've already rinsed it, so we shall proceed to put it into our pan. Now when all of it is in the pan, we use the moong dal spices that already come in the box. Always remember this two moong dal spices. There's one for fried onions, which will be used later. And these are the ones that get used just before you cook the dal. So here we go. Just pour it in. Nice. Mm hmm Tastes nice. Keep the box in case you ever need a box. Never know when you need a box. Now we go towards the hob. Follow me. Got hot water here. Put the hot water in. For 500 grams, we shall be using three pounds. We've only used 200 milligrams here, therefore, do the maths accordingly. Now, we increase the heat to maximum. We will bring it to boil and once the boiling is achieved, we will let it stand and simmer for 30 minutes. We're just waiting for it to boil now. Whilst we wait for that to happen, we can create a stock in an exo cube. Pour some hot water. Normally we use a liter for 500 grams. 500 milligrams of rice. Today, however, we're not using 500 milligrams because of our limitations in terms of a pan. So we're just going to use half of this and calculate the water accordingly. Let's go back and see how our food is doing. Mmm, smells delicious. Give it another stir. Now, put in diced green beans. Let them be involved in the party that's going on in there. Proceed to put in some rice. And to let the rice be nicely mixed. Make sure the rice and the green beans are properly cooked with all the spices that are already present in there. Now, let's go back and check on our stock. Give the stock a little stir. It would appear that the stock is ready. Let us go back. Now we pour this water into our dish. Give it a little stir. Cover it with a lid. Turn the heat down and let it stand for a good 20-25 minutes. The key thing is, do not be tempted to take the lid off. See you in 20 minutes.
Now that the dal has been in there for 30 minutes, we will proceed to put in some tomato. So we're gonna, we've already chopped these tomatoes, we're just gonna pour them in and they're gonna slowly get dissolved inside the dal, leaving a slightly darker texture than what it was before. Oh. Give it a little stir. Now, put the lid on and let it simmer for a further 20 minutes. By that point, this will be ready as well. We shall be ready to eat. This has been on there long enough. Now we'll let it stand for five minutes. While that happens, uh, we'll pay more attention to our other dish. It is nearly done. While that is being done, we have cut the onions into rings. We're gonna proceed to cook them now. Step one, get a frying pan. Step two, turn the heat up. Step three, let us put some rapeseed oil. We should wait for the oil to get heated. The dal on the other hand should have a very gloopy texture. If it doesn't, then proceed to put more water in it. Should have a somewhat... Some people do prefer it slightly drier. It is, at the end of the day, a matter of one's own taste but naturally you do not let it get too dry. It should be gloopy to an extent. How gloopy is obviously a matter of taste for, uh, which, uh, which I find personally that varies from an individual to individual. I personally like it quite gloopy because I like to put it on top of the rice, but it can be served on its own accord as a separate dish. But, um, but you're yeah, putting it on top of your rice, then I find a uh, gloopy texture generally helps the situation. So as I was saying, gloopy texture, it is vital. This is nearly done. Now we turn off the heat and let it stand. While that is happening, our oil is hot. Proceed to put in these onions. Yes, these are our onions. While we fry them, we put the spice comes in the box. Let's open, open where it says open. Open the thing. And we empty the box. They're absorbing all that oil. So we're on to a winner. We are on to a winner. This is gonna be so good. Mm. I am I am well looking forward to eating this. Now in the meantime let us not forget about our main dish. It is ready for action. It's been standing there. Now, before we serve that, because yes, we're almost about to serve some coriander in our bag. Um, it is important that any herbs, not only these, any herbs that you ever get have to be washed before using. Now, we're gonna slice these into small parts. Yeah. Herby goodness. You never can get too much of that. Mix it up, make it look all nice. And now, a little bit longer on the, on the onions and soon they shall be ready for action. While that is happening, we are going to proceed to plate up our biryani. Mm-hmm, that tastes nice. Now, easy part, let us plate it out before we eat it. Mm-hmm, this is beautiful. Even if I say so myself. Pour the biryani onto a big enough dish. Wait, come back for seconds. This is nearly ready. And now, for these herbs, pour them on top, nicely. Oh yes, 
Mm hmm That looks beautiful. Now, our onions are ready. Notice how they're only slightly burned from the edges. That is when you know your onions are ready. Now we proceed to serve our lentils. Or, um, this is very gloopy because I personally prefer it quite gloopy. Because um, I like to pour it on top of the rice sometimes, sometimes I like to have it on thing. However, um, it is entirely dependent on one's own personal preferences. Once that's done, now we're going to serve these on top. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you vegetable biryani with mundan. Only thing left to do now is to eat 